Creating Historical Maps in History in Motion, an Introduction. Historical maps are being added to History in Motion all the time. This video is an introduction to how you can add your own historical maps. It provides some necessary background information, specifically three things. First, what is a geocoded map? Second, where to obtain maps? And third, a do-it-yourself free geocoding tool. Subsequent help videos will cover how to obtain and load different map formats. The first thing to understand is that a historical map consists of two things, a digital image of the area described by the map and a correspondence between the pixels in the image and the underlying points on the earth described in terms of latitude and longitude. So here we see a map of Boston in the 1860s. And let's change the slider so we can start to see the modern city underneath. OK. Let's get in a little bit closer here. So for example, here is School Street. The pixels that form this part of the map are mapped to the underlying latitude and longitude of the corresponding points on School Street. That, this correspondence and the process by which it's created is known as geocoding. It's also called georeferencing or rectifying, but geocoding is the most used term. For any given map, it's unlikely that every pixel in the image will have an assigned latitude and longitude. Most programs that create these correspondences work off a small subset of these points called control points. These control points are mapped to latitude and longitude, and the rest of the pixels are assigned latitudes and longitudes by interpolating between the control points. In short, the more control points, the closer the map corresponds to reality. Now, geocoding the map is outside the scope of History in Motion. History in Motion assumes you already have a geocoded map to load into it. Fortunately, there are sources of geocoded historical maps and tools that enable you to do easily your own geocoding if necessary. One source of free geocoded historical maps is the New York Public Library's Map Warper, located at maps.nypl.org slash warper, W-A-R-P-E-R. -E there are over 20,000 free maps there, and they're not exclusively about New York City. The University of Texas has a great website that lists scores of websites that offer historical maps. Some of these will be geocoded, and others are just images which you would have to geocode yourself. And you can find this at www.lib.utexas.edu slash maps slash historical. Fortunately, the process of uh, doing your own geocoding is not hard. There's a free tool available called MapTiler, available at www.maptiler, M-A-P-T-I-L-E-R.com. There is a short video showing you how to do it by picking a point on the image and then selecting the corresponding point on a Google map and then repeating this until you feel you have enough control points. I've typically found that 10 or a dozen control points uh, are, are quite sufficient. The output of this process can then be loaded into History in Motion. In our next video, we'll look at how to obtain a map from the New York Public Library, process it with MapTiler, and then load it into History in Motion.